What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And I knew that I'd be making another video today because always before our upcoming banners, the day before, they'll always release these trailers. And lo and behold, after I make the video that I did today, then they released the SS trailers, which I knew they were going to do. But I wanted to talk about what was in that dev video. I thought that was really important stuff. And as far as the video itself for the SS characters, let me go ahead and turn this volume down so we don't have interrupting sounds here. And let us check this thing out. All right. This is pretty cool. Now, first off, Yuri is cute as a button. Now, come on now. <laughs> he is cute as a button. Good job, Netmarble. Little slappy slappy dab. There's that charge skill. And here's her core finisher. And then we got King. Now, I got to say, King looks sweet. You got this sweet rose in her hand. Very, very nice. Double blast. Nice combo with the kicks. Here's her core finisher. Very cool. And here's uh, Yuri's 3PG. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. All right, all right. We'll, we'll watch that again a little bit. That was, uh, that was funny. Here's King's 3PG. It's a pretty long animation, my friends. Nice, nice artwork. Nice artwork. So I got to say, man, when I watched that trailer, I was like, wow. I mean, this is uh, this this is pretty lit. I mean, you look at uh, Yuri here. And like I said, Yuri, come on now. She, she's cute as a button, right? But then when you see these animations that she does, I mean, it's typical Yuri style with the slapping around. Very, very nice. Very fast skills. You got the charge animation. We'll see how the charge plays out. But, uh, and then you got King here, right? Looking sweet. Kind of elegant, right? The little combo kicks. I want you guys to notice something. Whenever you see King, look, look at her, uh, look at this rainbow aura whenever she connects a hit. That is a really beautiful look, right? She's got this beautiful blue going on, that beautiful blue aura around her. But this rainbow is really nice. I like it a lot. Now, this is just... Now, come on now. Come on now. Come on now, 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 you know... <laughs> Yuri giving the old pat a pat a pat, you know, like, yeah, boy, what's up, what's up? Uh, funny. Damn funny. Definitely Yuri. Like buns of steel, man. Very, very cool. And then, of course, the artwork for their uh, 3PGs, I believe. <laughs> you got Yuri with the... The steel bun thing going on, and then you got King, you know, throwing up the high kick. Very, very nice. It's a great trailer, man. You know, Netmarble, you know, once again, they knock it out of the park when it comes to their SS fighters and the fighters that are in the game. Great job. I mean, aesthetically, they look amazing. Their skills look amazing. Definitely Yuri and King reminiscent right and i'm just i'm real curious to see how they're going to be right we're going to be real curious to see you know you really don't know how strong characters going to be just by looking at their skills so until we get their actual effects on their skills we really won't know like king whenever she does that double blast with that one skill i mean if that has ignore guard that's going to be very very powerful right that's going to kind of remind you of uh it kind of reminds you a little bit of uh let me see if i can find old boy really quick it kind of reminds you of chris right here when Chris throws out his third skill, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but when he throws out his third skill, let me go ahead and preview the skill and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Whenever he throws out this third skill, he throws out one. And then the other one kind of slowly comes after. It's kind of hard to see in this skill preview, but he throws out one and it goes out a little bit. And then the second one comes after and it's a really hard skill to dodge. You got to time it perfectly. And King, that one skill she got with the double kick where the blast comes out twice, that could be the same thing, and that's a very powerful tool. And if that has ignore guard, it's going to force people to want to roll and dodge. So for PvP, that could be very, very handy. And of course, you know, Yuri's going to have that grab with the slapping, you know, and we'll see if she ignores, like, 
If Yuri ignores super armor and hyper armor doing that grab, like, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me show you guys someone else that has that effect. This guy right here, right? Whenever he does this damn grab, he's got a 60% chance to remove the super armor and hyper armor. So if Yuri gets something like this, whoo, I, I could be powerful, my friends. That could be powerful. And we really don't know how well these charge effects are going to play out in the game. I'm just going to wait until we actually get them, until we actually can test it. Before I say really anything further on that. And then also, after they released the trailers, then they went ahead and released this here, which is pretty cool. So this is letting us know some of the things that are coming into the game. We got, uh, you know, the new reappearing, reappearing fighters, which is Iori and Kyo, as we all know. And then we have new imprint stones, which we all know. You know, there's going to be new imprint stones with the new SS characters, new content, which is always nice to see. New packages, which is, okay, whatever. Content improvements, which is always nice. We definitely want to see those. And system improvements, which we always want to see. And then, of course, you got King, Yuri. We've already seen this. And then they kind of highlight the charge skill here, which is nice that you use on your first skill. And this is going to be the first skill, I believe, for Yuri and King. You see the little dodge meter right here. So that's going to be real interesting. And then you see the artwork here for their cards uh, for King's 3PG and then Yuri's 3PG. And then you see the option card, and that's a pretty cool option card. I kind of like it, you know. King sitting back, you know, and got, she's got her hand propped up to her chin. Really, really nice. Really, all you guys that, you know, this is your waifu, you're probably loving this. And all you Yuri lovers, you're probably loving this. Honestly, the humor that's involved with what they do with Yuri with the butt slapping and the butt slamming, which is something that she's always done in KOF. It's just funny, right? And then along with the cutesy face, it's nice, man. I, I gotta admit, very uh, charismatic, right? Very charismatic. I really love it. And then we have the new set cards. Now, I have no idea how good these cards are going to be. We'll see. A lot of times when it comes to the cards, they're pretty good. They're pretty decent, uh, but they're never really over the top. They're just kind of like, you know, they're good. They're all right, but they're never really over the top. I just hope it isn't specifically for SS characters. Hopefully it's for like all characters. Maybe it'll be a PvP thing. We'll see. I don't know. I know more people would prefer a PvE thing because more players in Copas play PvE content more consistently than PvP. Although PvP is a part of the game and there are a lot of players that really do love playing it. And then you got the return of Kyo and Yori, right? You got the return of all their cards. You got the return of their set cards. And then we have this here, which is kind of like, man, come on now. Yeah, do this again. So, uh, once again, this is one of those things that, you know, it's going to cater to whales. People that's going to have excess of SS memories. And you got to use an SS memory in order to combine to get another memory for any SS character available. Which is, I don't like it. I wish they would have done like what they did before, where we could get a, we could combine those little fragments or those cores together to get an SS memory from the exchange shop. That I would have preferred that any day over this. Or a, a carnival? Like, I see nothing about a carnival. That would have been really nice, too. This is just... I mean, it's going to help some players. And for those players, you know, shout out to you. But for a lot of players, even including myself, this isn't going to help me at all. And it isn't going to help a lot of players. And I just think it's unproductive. I don't think it's really a good thing. It's it's okay. It's like a step in the right direction kind of thing. But for most players, it's going to be shit. They're not really going to care about it. And they're not going to use it, which is unfortunate. They really should make it to where... We can always get at least one memory, whether it's SS or BS, during one of these banners for everybody. At least that. At a minimum. This here is, nah, I don't really care for it. And then we scroll down here and we got all this information. I'm not going to go over all this. And then we got a nice little quality of life change, which I'm very, very excited about. And I'm sure many of you are too. Because many of us have been playing this game since the very beginning, right? We've been playing this game ever since imprint stones have been implemented. And our inventories are getting stacked. And it really sucks to go through your inventory and separate the attack and separate the HP and all that crap and salvage all those imprint stones, right? Well, now they've introduced this little change where it's going to be better organized. So imprint stone inventory has been added, which is nice, where you can manage your imprint stones more conveniently. This can be accessed through the main screen lobby imprint stone. So, you know, we're going to have a new screen on the lobby, a new little thing we'll click on on the lobby where we can jump in here and actually hopefully go through this a little bit easier and be able to pick our stones that we want to salvage. And what would really be awesome is you come in here, you say you got, you know, your, your imprint stones, your eight, you say you could click on HP imprint stones and all of your HP showed up and you just want to delete all of them once. Well, you just said delete, right? Automatically. Or if you want to have your attack and HP all in one together, 
then you could sit there and just click on one at a time, go one, 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 right? And then click a bunch of them all at once. I mean, I just hope it's a whole lot better than what it was before because, man, imprint stones, honestly, when your inventory gets full, it honestly becomes more of a chore than anything. Then we got the login bonus, which is, I mean, it's whatever, guys. Honestly, the login bonus isn't that good. Once again, I would have preferred something else other than this. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie, an SS memory login bonus, at least one SS memory would have been nice, but okay. I mean, it's, I, I get tired of saying this, but especially the way they rush out these banners, they really should do that a little bit, you know? And, and now that we know they're going to, they're creating harder content, right? They, we know that they're creating that new uh, tower of dungeon or dungeon tower, whatever it's going to be. And it's probably going to be really, really hard. You know, they need to make these memories a little bit more accessible, right? I understand they want us to come into the banners and they want us to pull for these characters and that's fine. But come on now, you, you, you got you to you gotta give a little to get a little, my friends. Come on now. Then you got KOF Battle Pass event. Okay. Clear daily missions to earn pass EXP. All right, we'll see how that all plays out in the event missions. And that's pretty much about it. Well, then we got the new friendly match system here. Uh, friendly match is actually pretty cool. I, I do like something about this is, it's like, uh, you know, it says fighter formation. If you have fewer than six own fighters, you can enter friendly matches and leader skills aren't applied. So that's actually really good. So if the leader skills aren't applied, you can bring in whatever character you want, characters you want because it doesn't give an advantage to them. It actually would make this more fun. What I would like to see is that you can come in here and nothing was applied. No imprint stones, no level of your awakened character, just level 90 like what it is in championship. And then we can just play with our friends. That would be so much more fun, right? All you need is just have an awakened skill, right? Or you don't even need to have an awakened skill, but you know, make it optional where you have the awakened skill, level 90, and just, you know, and just use the regular cards or whatever if you want or not. That would be so much better. Set it up like championship. Instead of, or, or, you know, I have it both ways where you could have it to where you could have imprint stones implemented, or you could turn that crap off, right? And have no advantages at all. And everybody be on a level playing field. That would be so much more fun. That's kind of one of the reasons I kind of lost interest in playing friendly match myself, because I found either I had extremely leveled up characters, and then I would play with other characters that I didn't want to play with. I wanted to play with characters that have leveled up because those are my favorite characters. But then the other person would be at a huge disadvantage, so I didn't want to play it. So that is something that I, 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 I hope this is something that we can put on a level playing field. The leadership thing is a step in the right direction, but we really, really need to have a, level, a few other things implemented in order for this to be really awesome. If, if they did that, we could do a lot of things for this game. I'm telling you, there's a lot of things, a lot of ideas rolling around in this brain of mine that we could implement in the future as far as the KOF community. And then you got all this other information. I'm not going to read all this, guys. And then we got system improvement and error fixes. Uh, we'll see how that all plays out. But, I mean, it's a lot of good news. We, you know, we've seen some quality of life changes with the imprint zones. Uh, the characters look absolutely amazing. I mean, seriously, after seeing Yuri and King, I'm just like, man, they look, they look dope. They do. They look sick as F, you know what I mean? I mean, they look, they look cool. And, you know, and Yuri, I just think she'll be super fun to play. I mean, King's probably gonna be super fun to play. Who knows which one's going to be more OP. Uh, we'll see if any of them have double dot or anything like that. But I am bummed out about the combining SS memory thing. I, I just I just never like seeing that. I don't think it's really good. So let me know how you're all feeling about everything that we talked about today. And let me know how you feel about SS King and SS Yuri. I think both of them look absolutely amazing. But we never know how strong characters are until we actually get to play them. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.